Japanese tools differ from their Western counterparts in both subtle and obvious ways. A Japanese mortise gauge works much like its Western equivalent, except that it is fitted with small blades instead of pins. And, the width of a mortise is set by adjusting between the two beams, rather than by moving the stock in relation to the blades. Like Western-style chisels, the Japanese versions are designed for specific purposes. The push chisel has a triangular blade for cleaning up dovetail joint pins and tails. The mortise chisel features a thick, square blade with slightly concave sides to reduce friction. And the corner chisel is used to square large mortise. But a Japanese chisel made with a steel hooped handle is strong enough to withstand bending struck by a steel hammer. Japanese saws and planes depart from Western design altogether because they cut on the pull stroke, rather than the push stroke. The Ryoba is a combination saw, with rip teeth on one edge and cross-cut teeth on the other. The Dazuki, with slightly set teeth, is used in joinery and fine bench work. The flush cutting Kujihiki is used for delicate cleanup work. It has a flexible blade for trimming tenons or dowels without marking the surrounding surface because its teeth have no set. The chamfer plane in the photo features screw adjusted fences. The tools is designed to shape the beveled molding commonly used in Japanese doors. For Japanese woodworkers, their art begins with respect for tools. Despite advances in technology that have given the modern woodworker portable power tools and stationary machines, many Japanese woodworkers still rely mainly on hand tools that have remained virtually unchanged for centuries. Only care, diligent maintenance, and respect for these tools can produce the elaborate and precise joints.